Distinct measurement for a Syntec controller machine with Aura Tool Changer. But unfortunately, this machine doesn't have a tool sensor. So if it had a tool sensor, it could automatically grab the tool, uh, measure you know, each tool length, and it will know what's the length for tool one, tool two, and so on. But this one doesn't have a tool sensor. Uh, it has an automatic tool changer, but uh, no plate to measure it. So in order to do this, uh, we'll grab one of the tools. Let's say, I think this is tool number one right now. So right now you can see that tool number one is on the spindle. Uh, we grabbed it and we bring the tool to touch a surface on the table. Like for this, I like to have a tabletop as my uh, reference surface because it doesn't change and all the tools could be measured against uh, the surface. So I grab tool number one and um, basically using my um, handheld device, I lower the Z until my Z axis is touching the table. Generally want to spin it and uh, so you just want the tool tool test to be touching the tabletop slightly so we turn it. Uh, you can see that they made contact but you're still able to turn the tool. So that's where I'm gonna measure all my tools. So tool number one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna bring it to that point and uh, basically leave that as my height so once we have that <clears throat> uh, we go to our uh, Syntec controller and bring the coordinate position so right now we can see that our z-axis is at negative 421 uh, right now the system is set in millimeter so this is negative 421 728 uh, so basically we want this number to be the length of tool number one um, we hit monitor and then tool setting which is the last option we go tool setting we go to tool number one and we manually set this number at negative four two one seven two eight press enter and that's how we set tool one so we keep doing this for all the tools uh, one two three four five and set all the tool lengths.